Hello everyone. Uh, today, let's talk about how to design uh, footing in robot structure like this. So I have a structure, uh, all the way a house like this, and everything is done. I already put load, run the analysis, and design the member. So now, uh, what I have to do is uh, design the footing. So I'm going to choose one column for this video so I'm going to choose this column now you need to uh, click on this button provide reinforce of RC element so next you uh, can import the load so I'm, I'm going to import all the load here. Okay, so this is our uh, footing. And you can see uh, on the structure here this is the footing that uh, we design so first I'm going to adjust some uh, size for example the uh, column size and also the footing size so you can uh, use the fixed number for width and depth of the uh, or the uh, or the length of the footing or you can use uh, the optimization uh, side and, and let the program do the work so first I'm going I'm going to uh, let the program choose for me uh, what size for A and B but uh, I'm going to fit the height so H1 this is the step of the footing so let's uh, choose this 500 millimeter and H2 let's say uh, 0 0.8 H and H4 I'm going to put uh, 50 millimeter for the size of the uh, column A, A and B I'm going to uh, just import this number and the uh, uh, eccentricity is zero. I'm going to fix this. You can also choose uh, the round column uh, type and the footing also, but in this case, I'm going to use this type. Next, I'm going to change this peer. So I'm going to choose bolted and this is the size of the plate so let's say uh, 0 0.5 now I'm going to apply so this is our uh, footing I'm going to let uh, uh, the option here uh, to the default so next I'm going to uh, change the soil capacity so this is the uh, soil parameter you can input the soil here depend on the layer but I'm not going to use that I'm going to click on this and go to stress and I will change this allowable to 0 0.5 you can ch uh, check the soil test for this or you can also import the soil layer and let the program calculate itself but in this case I'm going to import the uh, allowable capacity or uh, allowable stress for, uh, for the soil uh, to uh, 0 
now I keep this uh, default this is the safety factor limits you can change this but I'm going to keep the default here so now you can check the load so I'm going to click on this so this is the load that uh, the program is going to use this is the load that uh, we import from the structural analysis so I'm going to close this and now you can run the uh, analysis and design so you can click on this button start the calculations I'm going to click calculate so the size of the footing is optimized uh, by the program so now it will change to 1.93 and 1.524 and you can check the foundation result here so this is the capacity it's so, so okay the contact surface is also okay and everything else is okay but uh, I'm not going to use this number I'm going to change this to 2 and this to 1.5 and I'm going to fix this and apply now I'm run uh, the calculation again and I can check the result so it's still okay now I can use this side so next I'm going to uh, uh, change the reinforcement bar so you can check uh, this bar to see what it is so first I'm, go I'm not going to use this I'm going to delete it now this is the uh, The main bar okay as you can see uh, this is for this direction and the other value is for, uh, for another direction so I can uh, delete all this and go to this and I can add the bar in this uh, window so first I'm going to change this cover this is a uh, C that's uh, for this 25 and this is the bar side this is the uh, material grade I'm going to keep the default here This is our spacing. Next is the top bar. I, I don't think the top bar is uh, uh, needed. So I'm going to use only the bottom bar first. So the program uh, told us that the safety factor of the top risk reinforcement is less than one. So I'm going to add uh, the top bar also. So I'm going to delete this. Also this, and we add this again so this is the bottom bar for the top bar I will change it to be the same as the uh, bottom bar and 
I'm not going to use this. So no problem is found. So now we can use this uh, type of rebar. And next you can check the foundation node. So we have the geotechnical design. This is for the soil capacity. This uh, limit state. And this is the RC design. We uh, check using the ultimate limit state. So we uh, can check the require, require reinforcement. And this is our uh, provided reinforcement. So you can compare uh, this uh, rebar also. So this is how you can uh, design the uh, footing in robot structure analysis from the model that you already designed for the uh, superstructure. And this is our uh, view of the footing. And you can also design other footing as well. And if you want to import uh, the same footing to uh, many columns, you can just select uh, many nodes like this and add the uh, uh, footing like I did for the one uh, column. So now the uh, footing we add to uh, the column that I selected. So this is the idea. You can uh, do it by yourself. And this is it for this video. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy this. So I see you guys uh, in my next video. Thank you.